Good morning, Edmonton, on this Friday. What will the Oilers do between now and the trade deadline Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern? It's going to be interesting. Welcome back to BT. Sid Sixero here with you. Many Canadians are opening their hearts and wallets to support Ukraine. But how can you ensure your money is going to the right place? Here with tips on what to look for and what to avoid in terms of trying to be scammed online is tech journalist and author Mark Saltzman. Mark, good morning. Great to see you, man. Likewise. Thank you, Sid. Good morning. Uh, all right. Let's get right into the big issue here. What, what are the obvious telltales and not so obvious telltales of a scam online when you really just want to help people? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So look, a little research goes a long way. So if you're approached by a charity, by a, you know, call, a phone call, a text message, an email or a social media outreach that you've never heard of, it could be a local based charity, uh, you know, then you just have to do your research, you know, re just look them up. You can if they don't have a website, be suspicious. If there's very few financial details about what that charity is all about, uh, also do your homework. You can um, Google the name of the charity and uh, another word like scam or problem or anything like that, complaints, and see if there's any issue. If it is a Canadian charity, you can go to the CRA website and see if they're registered. Um, that's that's a great way to start. Uh, but again, if it's local, it's a little bit harder to uh, determine if they're legit or not. So just a, a bit of homework and, uh, you know, don't fall for some of these like urgent uh, need things that are very private and, and suspect. And also don't let pride get in the way, right? If you're If you're not too comfortable online, not everyone is, it's fine. Don't be afraid to ask for help, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. No, look, I mean, we're getting these messages that often prey on our emotions. These are heart-wrenching images coming out of Ukraine. Uh, and, and there are scammers that are going to look to capitalize on that, right? So the, you, you may see something in an email that says, you know, click here to, to look at this video of this heartbreaking scene from Kyiv. Uh, but what they're doing is, you know, installing malware or malicious software on your devices and lifting your financial data. So just exercise some common sense. Yeah, a lot of Canadians, as you said, they're opening up their hearts and wallets. But if uh, they're not familiar with those charities, you just got to do a bit more research. But there's the big ones, right? Like, the UNICEFs and the Red Cross, where you know the Canadian government is matching what you're donating. So those are some great places to start, right? Uh, the UN Refugee Agency that Ryan Reynolds uh, is very much uh, a fan of. And then there's uh, CanadaHelps.org, which is a great reference site that also has vetted charities in which to help. You know, so lots of options there. No doubt. All right. So, so Mark, what are some of the problematic sites? that you've seen so far? What should people be aware of here with yeah. red flags on, the, on those sites? There are a few scams going around and they do uh, come in different forms. Um, I received one over Facebook Messenger that it's one of those imposter scams. So it looked like someone that I was legitimately friends with down to their photo. And it said, hey, uh, if you haven't heard of this uh, charity, I just donated and it, it really does, you know, 85 cents goes uh, out of every dollar goes to these families. And then when I contacted that person in another fashion, you don't don't hit reply, right? You uh, reach out in another way. They said, no, that wasn't me, you know, my account was compromised uh, so they're they're leveraging people that you think you know in order to build trust so look for that double check with your friends or family or colleagues who are recommending a charity uh, emails that say as I said click on don't ever click on an attachment uh, and even if it's a, a phishing scam which tries to lure you to an authentic looking website look for grammatical and spelling mistakes and the website address uh, itself I saw one that looks like it's red red cross but uh, when I hovered my mouse over it don't even go to that website. Just put your mouse over it. The website address was like Red Cross uh, ITL dot co or like co or dot ee or something like that. So obviously they're trying in different ways and then block them and report them, you know, to the uh, RCMP anti fraud center. So whether it's COVID, whether it's tax time or or a, a war in Ukraine, uh, there are scammers that are going to try to capitalize on what we're all buzzing about. And again, they're trying to prey on your emotions. So just be wary of that. The other thing, Mark, that, that I'm noticing here, not just in Canada, but around the world, are people are renting Airbnbs in Ukraine. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, that's pretty smart. You know, at least, at least there's some direct contact person to person from across the globe where you can try and help them out in any way you can financially. Do you agree with that, or, or there's some dangers here I'm not thinking of? Yeah, so generally speaking, non nonprofits are saying this is a smart idea. More than half a million people have booked uh, Airbnb properties in Ukraine that have no desire to travel there and, and rent the space. Uh, and they're hoping that it does get into the hands of the people who need it and, and not with all the bureaucracy and the red tape and, and all the admin fees and all that. However, uh, there are scammers who are setting up 
Airbnbs in, mm. in Ukraine. So look for any reviews. If people, if, if it is someone who has rented, legitimately rented out their places before, you'll see reviews. Uh, it's, you know, you'll see the reviews there. And if you haven't seen any reviews, be suspect. Um, Airbnb themselves says, look, there, it, we can't validate that all these are real places. Um, so um, be cautious of that. And then also keep in mind that uh, the overwhelming majority of people who rent out B, uh, Airbnbs rather are between 25 and 55. So you may not be directly helping uh, seniors. Uh, a lot of them are, are refugees, you know, a lot of the elderly or little kids. For sure. So if you if you're able to, yeah, stick with maybe a, a more of the known charities, but even Airbnb says watch out for some of these scams. It is well. amazing. Giving used to just be enough, but you got to put more work into it now. It is what it is. Mark, we got to go. Appreciate yeah. you, man. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Thanks Please so much. Please open Sid. your wallets, but as Mark's telling you, be careful as well. We'll wrap up BT after this.